Greetings and salutations and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Albania. And where we last left our nation, we were beating up on Ottomans. So that's a good pastime. I greatly encourage it. I've got a general three siege and six maneuvers, so he's just great for sieging stuff down. Let's go here. Yeah, they they want some of this territory, and we're going to make sure that they get it. If I can give them just these three, I would be happy. I mean, taking these three for them would also be nice, because it's in their states. But we can't get greedy. I mean, we'll see if it, if it works. And no one has low enthusiasm except for Ottomans. Okay, Persia. How about you take this? I'll mark all that for you to take. And hopefully you'll listen. I mean, we're going to go for Ardalon next. Let's actually send these guys split up there and there. Hopefully they won't be killed by rebels or anything. Hmm, they stopped. Yeah, that <laughs> wasn't smart on the Ottoman. Part of the Ottomans. Yeah, we'll do this. It's more cash. How do they qualify? That's crazy. All right. Uh, we can move these guys down there if it hasn't fallen by the time we get down there. Okay, 98 war score. Be good. Or right, we'll liberate your territory if you don't uh, do it first. Okay, that looks pretty good. Take that. Let's give Persia all of those. Persia is really happy and gives us 23 favors. Ottomans are upset. Is there anything we can give the Commonwealth? We can give them that. And take 200 ducats. And that's a pretty good war. I like that. Uh, we didn't get to give this. Requires more war score than we 
can handle. But you know, for a single war, that that's that's a pretty good deal. Persia can't complain. They got quite a bit out of that war. Okay, our nobility wants some land, so why don't we give them this? Okay, conquer Ceuta. Hmm. Let's do this just for the loyalty. Looks good. Send this army up to help you out. And the Commonwealth will help. Okay, we have accumulated a little bit of Diplo power. Not very much at all. I don't think our next idea is allowed to be just noticing that we're going to get an idea. It, it can't be a military idea, I don't think. Maybe it can. Let's see, we have one, two, three, so yeah, the next one can be military. No. Are you, are you serious? Let's move these guys back over to Albania itself. And let's tell Commonwealth that they could decide upon their own strategies now. Let's see if our subjects have any debt, because we now have some cash. No debt. They do. We'll pay off their debt. Seems excessive to leave 60,000 guys there. Let's attack Prague and mark this for the Commonwealth to take. Because that's one of our cores. I'm sure somebody will liberate this. And Austria's in our war? Nope. Gets top relations off with Austria. Because they are an ally that we're planning to keep. Okay, this one we are going to give to Commonwealth because it's one of their permanent claims. Keep taking our cardinals. Unsure why there is nature any longer. 
main member states there. There's 22 states. Let's march through there. Yeah, they're running. Well, our thing is siege, so let's take out Pomerania. I have to hand it to Bohemia. They're holding their own. Yeah, we're not going to become the Papal Controller. Couldn't take this and cancel it. Do we really need this spy power? Not really. Let's get some claims. Pull that guy back. And we'll need this for the Commonwealth, so we'll give that to Brandenburg. I imagine they'll get knocked out of this as soon as this battle's over. Go down here and get the siege going. Okay, Hamburg, Oldenburg. We still got about a hundred years to finish this off. Oh, this is awesome. It's kind of like the colors of the Spanish flag. That red and the... Red and yellow. Of these cannons over here. We don't need these horses, they're just suffering attrition needlessly. Okay, so they gave two provinces there and returned this one to the Commonwealth. Okay. Now that's being sieged out. Let's see, can we get to Oldenburg? We can. I think Brandenburg is racking up a lot of aggressive expansion against themselves. This took two provinces that weren't from a belligerent, co belligerent. I bet they're going to full next Pomerania. Meanwhile, should Pomerania still be in the war? Um, I'm going to transfer this over to Bremen once we've sieged it down. Okay, we should improve. Oh, somebody from Netherlands. It was Brabant or something before. 
Good for them. And they lead a personal union with Hesse. See, you've got an alliance just with Portugal. Make sure, do we have a CB? We do have a CB against you, so let's just top off relations with our French allies, who we will never ever betray. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's give this um, to Brandenburg. They could hand it out to somebody else if they really want to. How are we doing on tech here? We'll get this ahead of time. Get the prestige. Oh, there's a Oldenburg over here. Let's get that. And this... We'll just get to the war later. They can hand it out as they see fit. Okay, Pomerania east out for a bunch of cash. So, hey, we're rich. Let's uh, celebrate by building up that fort. I don't really care about that fort any longer. Ottomans are having some problems, but they're noble rebels. They shouldn't break their country. Nice, Novgorod is going to triumph over Russia. <laughs> it's rare that you see that happen when Novgorod has been driven far back enough that Muscovy can become Russia. I mean, obviously the Ottomans are the reason why. And we hurt them badly as well over that Commonwealth um, succession crisis. Okay, Austria has no heir. They're only 20. They're Austrians, so they get bonuses. Chance of new air plus 50%. You want that? Guessing that they're trying to take some territory from Oldenburg. Conquer Zaragoza, yeah, let's do that. Let's just keep keep pouring. Or converting. Let's see, Bulgaria. Um, we'll add that to a state later. Hold on one second. Let me see how long this video has been going on. In 18 minutes, okay. Nothing uh, interest there. Uh, 19 minutes. Okay, sorry about that. And let's give that to Brandenburg. They are the war leader. Let's go ahead and take this ahead of time. Group of ideas. Well, we can get quality. Infantry combat ability right away. Yeah, our troops are going to be good. Going to be good. 
let's march down here. We don't need these troops up in Central Europe, Central, Northern, Western Europe. I'm not sure what we'd call well, a map, and I guess it could qualify as a lot of that. Okay, we can invade Spain whenever we feel like it. So I think we should get some trips into position for that project. Get that guy there. Actually, we shouldn't use a seizure for that. Let's use that guy. Get the seizure for pushing here. And this guy will be ready to attack Barcelona and then Perinia. I'm surprised they haven't... Okay, they did knock Oldenburg out of the war. They took a... that for Bremen. Okay, we're not going to need to core anything, so why don't we add Bulgaria in as a state? Somebody wants something more clergy. So that looks like a much nicer map. Much nicer. France, how are we doing? You like us tons, so do you. Subjects are starting to get a little less comfortable with us, so let's improve those relations. Austria is no longer a great power. <laughs> How did that happen? They they did not fall in their personal union. They fell behind Delhi. <laughs> what a mad world we live in. Okay, they ping their forts. They are. Let's ask them nicely to stop doing that. Okay, we're going to Austria and France. I don't think we need to. At least not until we've captured some of these provinces. Then we could call them France in for the use of the navy or something. Nice. And we should try to siege this out, so let's mark that for Tuscany to siege. Their fleet down here. And we're at our fleet maximum. Now we can make six more ships. Let's make four more big ships down here.
Let's plow through here. And see some Portuguese trips coming up from Africa. That's not going to help them. That's an ugly color in our map there. Process, we're doing you a service by taking your territory. Makes the map look better. Look at our beautiful red. probably see a Bulgarian uprising unless we give a couple more of those provinces away to our clergy. So might as well do that. Uh, we don't need manpower, so we'll just do this and see if we could get the next level of quality soon. Okay, you're thinking of rising up. And you too, but we can't add these in yet. Okay, Hamburg. Wow, we get 1,361 ducats out of that. I like it. Uh, these guys need a general. Six fire, I can live with that. Yeah, that went bad as well. <laughs> it's just cannons. Glorious. Okay, I hope they go up here. So can't dislodge them from Gibraltar. But if they move at all, they can die horribly. Got six shock on that general. Okay, guys, you know, same piece. Now we can do that. Go ahead and get our diplo points. We'll get over it eventually. I'm half tempted to just attack him anyway. We are Jenkins. Okay, they're a great power again. Do we just knock Portugal off the list? Um, no, it usually doesn't take into consideration trip count. They must have um, embraced institution. Yeah. Our trips are good. As compared to second tier, nice, thank you, Austria. Second tier um, military powers like like Austria, or um, sorry, like Portugal. I mean, navally they're first tier, of course. Their land trips aren't aren't great. I mean, what do they got going for them? So they took uh, offensive, 
which helps. And quality, that isn't bad. But aside from that, I mean, look at their ideas. They have no traditions or ideas that give them any sort of honest discipline, morale, anything like that. So they're really good at, at the thing that they do, which is trade, colonization, naval. But land trips are garbage. I can only dream of being as powerful as Albania on the battlefield. <laughs> Up off these relations. Because we haven't held Zaragoza for very long. We don't have much ticking war score in our favor. Kind of, uh, I'm going to stay here for this siege. Using our good siege. Yeah. yeah. I want to make sure that we're utilizing our resources on the battlefield as well as we can. Pull this guy back. I'm going to check to see if Brandenburg has any debt. can't imagine they do. The army tradition. Nice. we got 54 now, and it should basically hover there until we go into battles and so on. Let's, um, let's let this go down for a month, the Bulgarian. Okay, so this is Bulgarian. All of those are Bulgarian except for this first one is Volachian. Let's go for this guy. We don't desperately need these points or anything. And we're going to check to see if, if they have any debt. Nope. We could influence them. Let me do that. Um, hmm. Persia. Do you have debt? You have no debt. I have 500 ducats. Or some great power influence. Okay, Soria has surrendered. Now it's just this one. I'm going to speed up the process by moving over cannons. Let me get 16 war score, though. That's crazy. Okay, we're no longer needed over here, so let's engage this fleet. Those weren't our ships that were getting killed, those were our subjects over here. Okay, we'll, we'll just head for a friendly port then. And they're going for Cape Bomb, which is there. Uh, we could probably dislodge them from here. I don't like risking this two-decker. Let's see if they'll flee.
They will. I guess they felt like they had to make a point. Oh, did they bust the fort there? They did. Okay, let's get these guys to Barcelona. Guess they felt that they couldn't afford it, or maybe it was redundant. question is, where is their capital? So we can find that out by clicking on them and clicking here. Clemson. That's a big, powerful fort in the Highlands. Good choice. You guys really want to try this? Our goal is just to get Portugal out of the war. Yeah, we don't care. We'll convert it back eventually. Okay, we're potentially going to upset somebody. Um I want to upset our burgers, so let's do this. And we'll just make a donation to them. That. And everyone's happy. Portugal's pretty metal. They're just like not even caring that that we're so much tougher than them. I guess we haven't occupied much of their territories, so I could see whether still high enthusiasm. thing is that their troops aren't very good, and we know that. And they should know that by now. Actually, these guys will go there, these guys can go here. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got going on for us. 5% more discipline than them. Our morale is like almost 20 percent let's see 20 percent of six would be 1.2 so 7.2 so it's yeah it's almost like 25 percent higher than theirs and then we have a little bit more military tactics more infantry more cannons Okay, Portugal. I think now you want out, don't you? 
Don't you run out? I think you do. Alright. And move this guy back. This guy is going to get our three star general. Pulling us. Am I attacking there? Maybe. Okay, so they need this guy maybe. You guys can have generals too. There you go. Be awesome. So 37 war score. I'm surprised that their subjects haven't tried getting free. Must be developing them like crazy. But we'll take enough in this war that they might they might decide to seek independence. Now let's take a look at their subjects. Wow, French Mexico is getting wrecked. Okay, New Granada, how do you feel? 35. Spanish Brazil, 0. Spanish Prose, 32. So they've been developing here. And then somebody's got. Yeah, they've got this 0. I think it's just because they're weak. No development necessary. Keep them loyal. Oh, that's a big ship. Shame. Uh, let's get these guys back into a port until they repair. Let's replace a two-decker and let's keep an eye on our time here. 42 minutes, let's stop here.